Okay guys, uh, this is Andres Hernandez, photographer, and I'm going to show you guys how to edit color in Capture One. Um, we're just going to do some color adjustments on this photograph, it's a portrait. Um, I wanted to give it a look very like um, kind of vintage but uh, kind of greens and I want to start uh, modifying a little bit of the white balance okay now let's go to the levels so in order to get the, the greenish kind of look I'm just going to add a little bit of blue but as you see you can get a little bit of magenta so now I'm just going to get out of the magenta and get a little bit of green so now what happened uh, also I'm going to take off a little bit of of the saturation so now you see it's getting a really really nice look um, also as you see the skin tone is getting too greenish so I just wanna keep the skin in the natural color a little bit more yellowish I just want the background to look kind of vintage uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this variant, clone variant, so I'm going to have an exact copy of the photograph here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the, all the values. Now I have the one that I just changed and the original. In Photoshop, I'm just going to pull all the stones out um, okay just give me one second on this one I just want to get rid of, of the reds this guy has the skin like he had a, a like a tan uh, and the skin gets got a little bit red so here I'm just gonna try to neutralize the red so now we have this one and this one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna support these two images to Photoshop see it's my recipe it's a thief a thief 300 dpi 8 bit srgb let's do it like that Let's go. So the output. Okay. So as you see, we have both colors, color corrections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this one on this one. The same as that place. Okay, now let's let's make a mask. Here we're gonna do a little bit of retouching here. Um, 
let's clear this mask and then let's just start painting the background you know what let's do it the opposite way let's just start on the mask paint with black This is really quick. In real life, I will be doing it very, very clean edges. But in this case, I'm just gonna do it really quick. So you guys have an idea of what I do to my photographs. As I said, I'm doing it really, really quick. In real life, I'm, I, I do it very detailed on the edges and everything. This is just for for educational purposes. See? You see? Now what I do is just Okay. In this case, I did it. I did it wrong. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer. Put it back. Delete the mask. And on this one, I'm just gonna change the opacity. You see how nice it blends. The color. Let's give a 50%. I think this is a, you know what? Let's do a 75%. Now we got a really, really nice color. Okay, I'm just gonna show you really quick uh, skin retouching, how I do it. Let's merge these three layers. And I have an action to, to make the uh, frequency separation uh, in another video I'm gonna show you how to do this I'm just gonna show you that hold on let's flatten all of this in order to, to make the frequency separation uh, here okay so we have the texture in one um, layer and the color in another layer. So what I do with the healing brush, I just clean everything. This is done very, very detailed 
in real life. Now I'm doing it really, really quick. I don't like to, to work a lot on the, I just like the photographs to look very like human beings. I don't like the, the plastic look. See the, the color skin is very like oh, it has different tones so what I do on this layer filter um see this filter oh let's just make some Gaussian blur on this one oh no I forgot something that we need to make a fear on the selection and then the blur. As I said, this is just doing it really, really quick. Uh, in other videos, I'm going to explain more detail. So gonna see the before and after of what I just did oops sorry okay I'm just gonna show you like this you see how everything gets a little bit smooth Okay, this is a long process, so in other videos I'm going to show you more tips. Subscribe to my channel here below, uh, Andres Hernandez, photographer. See you in a next video.